Hi everybody, this is Ajay from Mora 600. Today I will be discussing about correct ways to do ASM rebalance operations and some other tips related to it. It has been seen in many organizations that sometimes the DBA wants to migrate their database from old storage disks to different newer set of storage disks. The method usually adopted is something like this. First new disks are added and then the old disks are removed. The problem with this two-phase method is that it incurs double amount of I.O. which Oracle performs to evenly stripe the data to all the disks. First Oracle has to rebalance and evenly stripe the data after the disks have been added and then it has to do the striping operation again once the disks have been dropped. A better way of doing this is to do the addition and dropping of disks in a single step. In older versions of ASM, the power of ASM rebalance operations could be set anywhere between 1 to 11. But from Oracle 11.202 onwards, if the compatible .asm disk group attribute is set to 11.202 or higher, the limit is now 1.024. In case if your database is running on flash storage disks, then you can use the following parameter to disable the compaction phase with the third phase of ASM rebalance operations. In this phase, data is basically moved closer to the outer tracks of the disks for faster accessibility. But since flash storage architecture is completely different and it does not have any moving component, the compaction phase is not really necessary. Since the parameters mentioned are hidden, it is essential that it should be discussed with Oracle support before these get implemented in the database. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Signing off.